when I talk about these ideas of getting people to perform at their highest, some people just are so against it, they just can't receive or even entertain the idea that people will perform better with some nurturing and some incentives. They'll, they get all old school, they start going, nah, they turn up, they've paid to work and just crack the whip and tell them what to do, none of this fluff stuff. And look, that might've worked 40 or 60 years ago, but that's not the way it's moving now. We're in a new era. And the reason we put incentives in place is not because people need fluff and nurturing. We put it in place because humans instinctively will do what they need to do, not necessarily what they're capable of. Like for example, when you drive your car, you could drive from your house to the shops and the car could have actually driven across the country, but it was only going to the shops. And people tend to work the same. They turn up to work nine to five and often get to three o'clock and they look at the clock and they go, oh, I don't really need to do any more work today and they fill the time, but they're not necessarily being productive. So we wouldn't let them knock off early, but we want them to stay, we want them to work. So the incentives are put in place to make sure that people always have a little target ahead of themselves above and beyond the, the fundamentals that they're being asked for, because we want people to live into what they're capable of. Because you're paying someone an annual salary, regardless of whether or not they will perform poorly or perform really well. So we want to help them perform really well. And when you do the math, it's actually not a big cost. And what we want to perhaps offer them is some sort of incentive either around learning, so you can develop yourself, whether it be your personal skill set or your, your career skill set, whether or not we create an experience, maybe even for the entire team, the entire team gets to experience something, or maybe we create some sort of health and well-being opportunity. Now, when we do any of these things, if we also deliver those at just the right time around just the right metrics, we can get a real change in a culture. We can get, we can draw a lot of attention to the things that are working right. So much attention that people start to go, what, is that the way we do it? And we start to get people who work together that feel well, they don't have fatigue anymore. And so you start to see a drop in the politics. You don't see the same sort of bullying because we've got another focus. We know where we're moving towards. We know what'll feel better. We don't get the same sort of lawsuits or absentee days. The incentive is there to have people live into what they're capable of. And when you do the maths, it's not expensive. It's actually expensive not to, like really expensive not to. So that's what the incentive is there for, not for the fluff, to increase real tangible results.